The Barbican Estate is one of the world's most renowned examples of brutalist architecture and represents a utopian ideal for inner city living. The estate is home to a concert hall, a theatre, two schools, a community of residents and some of the most magnificent public spaces in London. Despite being Grade 2 and 2 star listed, and recently being awarded conservation status, its architectural heritage is under threat. The City of London School for Girls has made the Barbican its home since the estate was first built, and through incremental expansions over the years, the number of pupils has increased from under 450 to well over 700. It now plans to grow again, this time with significant building plans that will further disturb the architectural balance of the estate. The new structures will cause substantial harm not only to the school's own Grade 2 building, but also to the other listed buildings and vistas of the estate. There are three main parts to the school's plans. The first is to construct a new building to house kitchens and a dining hall in the area below Mountjoy House, filling in the space that currently provides one of the remarkable Grade 2 star listed vistas within the estate. The modern glass walls of this new structure are quite unlike anything else on the estate, and would stand in jarring contrast to the brutalist architecture above and around it. And, despite the use of glass, the new building would obscure what is currently a magnificent example of the fully open double-height peloti or columns. These peloti are a unifying theme throughout the estate and are crucial in providing a sense of space, balance and openness that offsets the bold concrete structures. The iconic views of the monumental steps sweeping up from Lakeside are visible to members of the public walking at podium level and are one of the highlights of the architectural tours that are regularly conducted around the estate. These views would be lost, blocked entirely by the roof of the new dining hall and kitchens. The second part of the plan is to construct a large, multi-storey building at Lakeside that would replace these smaller structures which were the product of a prior expansion of the school. The new, much larger building will be affixed to the frontage of the main school, which itself is a superb Grade 2 listed building, resulting in significant harm to its architectural composition and symmetry. The third part of the school's plan is to erect a structure made of wood and glass that rises up from podium level on top of the existing school building that overlooks the Thomas More Garden in the tranquil heart of the estate. As well as clashing with the consistent design and materials of the surrounding architecture, the new building, with its added height, will loom over the gardens. It will also eliminate some delightful features on the school's main building, visible from other parts of the estate, such as the design reflecting two towers on the side of the school that echo and complement the spire of St Giles Church in the background. At the corner of Mountjoy and Thomas More, the podium walkways and buildings beneath flow through from the garden to a small square on the high walk, standing high above the ground and distinct from the adjoining buildings. The school's plans would place the new sixth form centre at one end and, at the other end, the new dining hall's roof would fill in the spaces between the walkways eliminating the beautiful sweeping effect of the podium enjoyed by countless visitors to the estate. The Corporation of the City of London is both the owner of the school and the landlord. In the same way that the city supported the expansion of the Guildhall School of Music and Drama to a neighbouring site at Milton Court, the city could provide the girls' school with a nearby and much larger space giving the school a wonderful opportunity to develop and thrive for many years to come. The site where Bastion House and the Museum of London currently sit will soon be redeveloped, and its location at the south end of Mountjoy House means it could be accessed by pupils within a few seconds walk, even providing a perfect use for those monumental steps 
to connect the new development to the main school buildings. Attempting to shoehorn more buildings into the Barbican estate to meet only the school's short-term needs will do irreparable harm to this iconic estate and do an injustice to the future generations of pupils at the school. What is lost now will never be regained.